most excited about seeing your character develop for season two? Um, you know, season one, Gwen was very vocal about, you know, how things should be done, how to lead, how, you know, telling the boys how to do things and never really doing it herself. And I think season two, we're going to find that she's going to be forced to put her money where her mouth is because she's kind of ended up as leader of this tribe by default. And uh, we're going to see her struggle with that a little bit and whether she has the, uh, you know, the, the, the gumption to, to be able to do that, to handle that. How much of you do you put into your character? What does some of the strength come from? What are you taking that from? Look, I think I think innately, whenever you play a character, there's a lot of you in it. There just is, and then you you know you play with accents, you play with costume, and you play with uh, I don't know mannerisms and all of that. I haven't done too much of that with Gwen, so I probably besides the accent and the costumes, I do feel like there's there's a lot of me in her. I, I'm, I'm no wallflower either, and, uh, and neither is Gwen. And I, I tend to speak my mind sometimes, maybe to uh, not everybody's too pleased with that. But yeah, so I I, I really I really um, relate and aspire to Gwen's strength for myself. I mean, I know it's a fictional show, but it is about a community that is struggling through all these different issues. How much research did you do about the Appalachian community to get like sort of a little bit more ingrained in the essence of the story? You know, I didn't do, I, I did some readings and, you know, obviously was curious about it, but because our, our people are, are fictional, um, and we were really uh, adamant that we weren't trying to represent like hillbillies, dumb or anything like that. I, I did a lot of like readings of a lot of different tribes around the world. So definitely not just Appalach Appalachia, but like, you know, the, the, the tribes in Cambodia or in Brazil or in Australia where I'm from, you know. And so just kind of reading how a lot of people live off the grid or, or you know, without modern technologies and stuff. And just really curious about all of that. And, I, and I'm a very visual person, so I looked at a lot of imagery. And that was really inspiring for me, so... Yeah. Describe your character in three words. Cool. Um, ball breaker, <laughs> um, uh, kick ass, um, and sensitive. <laughs> you know, um, for people who have not seen the show and may want to see it, if you have a chance to tell them why they should tune in, what would you say to them to tune in to Outsiders? Outsiders is a weird, wacky show. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. There's so much action. There's some really hot guys in kilts with long hair, uh, <laughs> um, and there, there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot of action. It's a lot. It's a real fun show. Check it out. Check it out. Everybody, thanks. Before you leave, your social media. My social media is uh, at Jillian Alexi on everything. Yeah. Following you, Aussies. We love you. Great, thank you. I think you should watch the show because um, it's it's kind of an animal of its of, of its own. I don't think there's a whole lot of things on TV like this. Um, if you like uh, good character dramas, I think this is for you. There's good action. There's um, there's there's just there's a lot, a lot. A lot. Speechless. You can't even. So I can't even say. Um, there's a lot that happens. So I would I would I would give it a shot. And my character is um, Hassel, and he is on a very. Oh God. Three words: um, lover, fighter, um, five foot eight. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodbye.